Hey, good day everybody. I want to do a quick tutorial today to show how to check if a value in one list is present in a second list. And if so, we're going to return an indicator to flag each record where that value is present. So what I'm looking at here is accounting and finance data from a fictitious apartment management company. Now the way large companies usually work is if you look at this account number, the first three digits you'll see, in this case 100, indicate the property within that enterprise. So property A is going to be 100, property B 101, C 102, and the rest of the account string is going to represent uh, different aspects of which uh, revenue or expense account uh, we're dealing with. So let's suppose that your supervisor comes to you and passes you a list of these company codes and says, I want financial results only for this subset of companies within the enterprise. <clears throat> now you may be thinking, well, I, I could just simply filter out the ones I want, put a manual filter. But if we're dealing with an enterprise with thousands of sub companies, you're going to want a quicker way to do that. So what we have here is, I've stripped out the left three digits of the account string to indicate the company. So I've typed in equals left. I'm going to reference the account string comma three, meaning give me the leftmost three digits. Click enter and that's going to tell you which company we're dealing with. So now we need to know whether that company those first three digits falls within this list we've been given. And the way we're going to do that is by using a count if. So I'm going to say equals count if. I'm going to select as my range, my list, comma, the criteria I want to check this list for is this company code 100. I'm going to close that. But before I click enter, I'm going to want to lock this first cell reference to this list so that when I slide this formula down, we don't start dragging the references. So I'm going to click F4 shortcut to chain or lock that aspect, that list piece of it over here. And now I'm going to click enter. So if the value 100 is present in the list and how many times it's present, it's going to return that in this cell. It's present once. So I'm going to click down, fill. And as we scroll, we can check where the zeros are. So we can see here's our first zero. And that's company 113. Should not be present in our list. And sure enough, it's not. We stop at 112. Now why this would be useful is if you were to run a quick report, so let's say Control A to select everything, insert pivot table and we were to build a summary of okay let's say account description give me the department no, we don't want that the company and then say the dollar amount let's set that to dollars oh, excuse me one sum I want to make those dollars Now all we have to do is take our include field where we had the one or zero from the count if, throw it in our report filters, select only the ones, click OK. Now we're only going to see those companies that were included in the list we were given. So here you go, it stops at 112. All right, I hope this was useful. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.